The father is asking for accountability. He says it's essential for Jones to reform and this will finally allow the community to begin to heal. He wants to make it clear this was no mistake. Despite the dampness, the flowers at this memorial site have maintained their grace, much like the families of those tragically killed. If there's something good that can come from this, um, I hope that there's change in people's hearts and in their behavior toward each other. Chase Wilcoxon credits his faith for his strength after losing his 12 and 13 year old daughters, Tilly and Eloise. They were the oldest of six with another one on the way, a sibling they'll never meet. Wilcoxon holds 18 year old Chase Jones responsible. Court papers say Jones was driving 112 miles per hour when he ran a red light hitting 38 year old Andrea Hudson's van. The two girls, Andrea and 12 year old Buster Brown were killed. Andrea's two kids were badly hurt in the crash. The father says this was not a dumb mistake. An argument he says Jones's defense attorney stated in court. In a statement to Fox 13, he says, quote, this was a willful act. He never braked, never swerved, never released the accelerator. To call this a dumb mistake is ingenuine, dishonest and inexcusable. Shame on you, Mr. Barshis. We reached out to the defense attorney tonight about those comments and are waiting to hear back. I mean, the guy admitted to full speed and three times the speed the limit. As we've reported, this was not his first time speeding. Jones allegedly T-boned a man in May of 2023. Kept police body cameras showed the aftermath after he barreled through a fence, stopping just a few feet short of hitting a home. Still, Judge Joanna Bender lowered his bail from $1 million to 100000 He since posted bail and he's been discharged from the hospital. Mr. Wilcox saying, while Chase Jones sits comfortably at home watching Netflix, the broken bodies of Matilda, Eloise and Buster, three innocent children lie side by side in fresh graves, never to return home to their families. Knowing Jones is recovering from broken arms and legs, I knocked on his door, hoping to hear from him or his parents who were at both crash sites before police arrived. After several minutes, no one answered. Mr. Wilcoxon says he's questioning the court's lenient decision and their commitment to accountability. Once we hear back from Jones's attorney, we'll bring it to you here on Fox 13. Alejandro Guzman, Fox 13 News.